Hey everyone, this is Finding Value and I wanted to do a uranium update where I really start doing the technical analysis on the charts instead of just looking at them and talking to them. So you guys can see the patterns and, and make decisions for yourself if you're going to buy or sell. So let's jump right in. So on this one, we've got the uh, Uranium Participation Corp. Uh, you can see it, it popped up from the March timeframe and was trading inside of a channel. Then it broke out to the bottom side of this channel. So it's got a lot of work to do. You can see some big volume here of sellers. Uh, it's gonna have to bottom out and, and, and break this downtrend. So it is currently in a downtrend. Uh, URA, the one I was talking about yesterday and me thinking that it was gonna break down to the downside. Uh, this is what I was seeing. I just wanna make it very visual for everyone. Uh, so this is the uptrend that I was seeing. You can see these big down days, the momentum is changing and it broke down. You see this big down day and these small up days inside of it, that typically means that you're gonna head lower. So we're, this is now in a downtrend um, and, and it broke down today. I think it actually broke down more than this. I did this uh, in the morning. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's in a downtrend and I would be waiting uh, to purchase this once it hits an uptrend or we see positive developments in the opposite direction. Uh, here's next gen energy. So you can see it was very popped up very nice from the, the March timeframe in this channel here. It's broken out to the downside and it's going to have a lot of work to do to reverse this. Uh, right here, you've got a bearish engulfing. Uh, I didn't see what it closed at today, but uh, it's going to have some work. I would not be a buyer. DNN, same similar pattern. Broke to the downside, and it's going to have to put in work to, to reverse it. This does look positive with all the wicks on the bottom. You might have some good, good uh, support here. So you might, you might see a bounce up. Uh, here's Uranium Royalty Corp. Going through this pattern, kind of contracting upward and broke to the downside. So you might see some further downside here. Here's a CCJ Camco. Pulled up, nice. Looks to me like this is a shoulder, a head. Nice big down day there on high volume. And then you see all these down these big down days here and you saw a big breakout kind of below it, came back up to back test. I bet you we're heading lower here. This could, I mean, head pretty low. So it doesn't look good for Camco. I'd be not a buyer here. Uh, here's Fission Uranium. It's still inside of its chart pattern. It's got some, some good fight here. So we'll see how it works, you know, works out for it. But uh, I'd be watching it, seeing if it breaks this lower, lower trend line, and then see if we go into a, a downtrend. Here's URG, UR Energy. Again, same chart pattern. We're at the bottom, bottom portion of this channel. We're gonna have to watch it. A lot of the other ones broke to the downside. More than likely, these will probably break to the downside as well. Uh, energy Fuels, again, in that chart pattern, smack dab in the middle. Uh, looks like it's gonna pull back. Uh, here's Encore Energy Corp. This was another uh, company, I guess. I guess these guys, um, uh, they had one of the best returning stocks in the previous uh, bull cycle under a different name. And the management of this company is uh, running now running this company. I don't know the previous name, but uh, this company, you know, I added it into the mix. Uh, and, and obviously we're looking at the charts here. It's in an uptrend, kind of this pattern here. And what I see here is I see a very strong buying pattern coming up here. And then it's filling in this gap that they, that had down here. So right here, this gap fill, and see all these little down days? This is, is pretty bullish. Um, I, think, I think you could go long in this if, if you want. Uh, my only concern is the other companies in this sector uh, are, provi are performing pretty poorly and they're all breaking to the downside. So that's the risk in this one. But it looks like it's just filling this gap in with some nice little seller you know, down days 
with these big updates. This is what I like to see, and I think it's going to continue higher. Uh, Paladin Energy. This is what this looks like. I don't really have much to say. It's at the bottom of this channel here, uh, and it's it's still in there. It's fighting. So that's what I have for uranium. Uh, it's I tried to go over a, a lot of the companies, get you, get you guys an overall picture, kind of a big picture of what it looks like. Uh, there are some okay companies. You know, some companies are performing fine, and you know, a lot of them are starting to break to the downside. So. I would, you know, I wouldn't be jumping in with a ton of money. Maybe you can nibble at some of these really, nice, you know, good ones and see the outcome. But it doesn't look great with a lot, you know, half, maybe a quarter of these companies breaking to the downside. They've got work to do. Buyers got to come in here and start buying these companies before I'm going to start putting a bunch of money into them. This is Finding Value. Hopefully this update uh, gives you a little bit better perspective on the uranium market. Subscribe, rate, comment. And thanks for listening.